Hello students, welcome back to the second video of this playlist. So in this video, we will be solving question number two from October 2024, Pure Mathematics 1 paper. So uh, question number two, let's see. Uh, what's the question number two from this paper is about? So basically, the concepts behind question number two is from the very first chapter of your Pure Mathematics 1 textbook, which is algebraic expressions. To be more specific, uh, we need to uh, have idea about simplifying algebraic fractions and and rationalizing denominators. These, yeah, these two concepts specifically. So let's get started with question number two. So it has two parts. So we will start with the first part that is number one. Okay. So in part one, they are asking to simplify fully 3y cubed times 2x to the power 4 whole cube over 4x squared y to the power 4. Okay. We need to simplify it. Okay. Fine. So in order to simplify it, we need to show all workings. Okay, because this is three marks, so we need to show all of our workings. Okay, so at first, 3y cube is there, so 3y cube, and then 2 to the power cube is what? 8, right? And x to the power 4, whole cube, it will be x to the power what? 12. Divide 4x squared, y to the power what? 4. Okay, next is 3 times, okay. Uh, 3 times 8, which is 24, and 24 over 4 is what? 24 over, we got 25 over, 24 over 4, we have x to the power 12, so x to the power 12 minus 2 times what? y to the power 3 minus what? 4, because they are in division, isn't it? So, 24 over 4 is what? 6, x to the power 10, y inverse, so we can uh, write it as what 6x to the power 10 over what y and that's what exactly the first part of question number two has asked for okay next is part two so in part two they are asking to find the exact value of a such that 16 over square root of 3 plus 1 equals to a square root of 27 plus what? 4. Okay. So basically, uh, we need to find out the value for a. Okay. They have given some hint there. Write your answer in the form p square root of 3 plus q, where p and q are fully simplified rational constants. Okay. So we need to find out the value for a. Okay. So for part 2, since we need to find out the value for a so make a the subject okay so we got what if you make a the subject so take 4 to the left side and a square root of 27 a square root of 27 can be written as what 3 square root of 3 because square root of 27 is what a square root of 3 ti 9 times 3 which is 3 square root of so 3 square root of 3a equals to what a 16 over what square root of 3 plus 1 minus what 4 okay so uh, what we can do next we can multiply both sides by 3 uh, we can divide both sides by 3 square root of 3 so that we can make a the subject so you will get 16 over what 3 square root of 3 3 square root of 3 times 3 plus uh, square root of 3 plus 1, right? Square root of 3 plus 1, and then what? Minus 4 over 3 square root of what? 3. Okay? Now we can take LCM because we need to simplify it. So if you take LCM, you will get what? 3 square root of 3 times square root of 3 plus 1. Okay? You will get 16 here. And in the next for number for the second term, you'll get negative 4 times what? Square root of 3 plus 1. Now, what we can do? You can multiply out the brackets. 
so you will get 16 negative 4 square root of 3 negative 4 over in the denominator square root of 3 times square root of 3 is what 3 so 3 times 3 is what 9 so 9 plus 3 square root of 3 that will give you 16 minus 4 is 12 12 minus 4 square root of 3 divide 3 square root of 3 plus 9 is this done not yet done because we need to rationalize the denominator okay so in order to rationalize denominator what we need to do we need to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator so conjugate of 3 square root of 3 plus 9 is what 3 square root of 3 minus 9 okay so what we need to do to get the value for a we need to multiply top and bottom so bottom is 3 square root of 3 plus 9 so it will become 3 square root of 3 whole squared minus 9 squared because a plus b times a minus b is what a square minus b squared difference of squared formula for difference of squares and at the top 12 minus 4 square root of 3 12 minus 4 square root of 3 times what was the conjugate pair 3 square root of 3 plus was it plus or minus it was the conjugate we need we need we needed to multiply by 3 square root of 3 minus 9 not plus because plus was already there so the value for a 3 square is 9 9 times 3 is what 27 so 27 minus what 81 and then 12 times 3 root 3 this is 36 square root of 3 minus 9 times 12 is what 108 and then minus 36 and then plus 36 square root of what 3 okay now just keep simplifying a would be what the value for a 36 square root of 3 plus 36 square root of 3 that would give you 72 square root of 3 minus 108 negative 36 minus 36 it would give you negative 100 what 44 okay over 27 minus 81 this is basically negative 54 so the value for a would be what negative 144 over negative 54 this is what negative 144 over negative 54 that would give you 8 over 3 and then 72 over negative 54 negative 54 this is basically negative 4 over 3 negative 4 over 3 square root of 3 so the question has asked the value for a in the form in the form of p square root of 3 so the coefficient of 3 square root of 3 is what p so p equals to what negative 4 over 3 and q is the constant constant which is 8 over 3 and that's what exactly part 2 of question number 2 has asked for